something really crazy happened in the creative space. Everybody is running away from the Adobe Creative Cloud, which has softwares like Photoshop, Illustrator, Lightroom, and so on. And they're all running to the Affinity Suite. I just watched this video, Affinity kicking Adobe while they're down. This is a video from Game From Scratch. And if we scroll down, just read these comments. I've been using Adobe for 10 years, just bought the Universal Affinity license. Treat your customers better, Adobe. I went to Affinity Photo Suite and I haven't looked back to Adobe ever since. Affinity is great. Adobe, I've had nothing but expensive problems from 2006 to 2014. Software, customer service, terms of conditions, everything. The day I purged all Adobe stuff from my machines and swapped to Affinity Plus Blender was a good day. Just bought the whole set. Thank you. I abandoned and boycotted Adobe when they refused to sell anything and put a drip in your arm to suck money out of people 24 7 not using them often now why is this happening so recently adobe updated the terms of services which brought it to daylight that it's actually quite a mess now here's the thing that it's all about in point 4.2 they actually say you grant us a non-exclusive worldwide royalty-free sublicensable license to use reproduce publicly display distribute modify create derivative works based on publicly perform and translate the content. Now this basically means that creators using Adobe products actually give the license to Adobe to basically do whatever they want to whatever they create. Now this is a big mess in the creative industry. Now, because Adobe got under fire, they actually said that Adobe will never assume ownership of a customer's work. So this means that they don't get the copyright or they don't get the ownership. However, they actually create a sub-licensable license and with this license, they can actually still do whatever you want. So you keep the ownership, but they've got the license to do redistribute and do whatever they want with your work. Now, people are, were also concerned about training the, their AI models but they said Adobe does not train Firefly Gen AI models on customer content. What they say is that Firefly generative AI models are trained on a data set of licensed content such as Adobe stock and public uh, domain content where copyright has expired. Now this is kind of a broad term licensed content because what is their licensed content because if we dig a little deeper you can see that adobe may analyze your content that is processed or stored on adobe service we don't analyze content processed or stored locally on your device now here's the deal in limited circumstances we may manually review your content for product improvement and development purposes in the following situation product improvement and development means probably training their AI. Now, if you make such content public, for example, contributions to Adobe Stock and Behance, Behance is a great portfolio website for so many creators who actually uploaded their stuff to Behance to showcase their work and to show what they can do to actually get customers and clients. Adobe just says everything that's uploaded to Behance, we are allowed to use in whatever way we want. So we can use your creations to train our AI models. Also, if you participate in a pre-release beta or early access program, you also grant them the access to use and redistribute your content, which is nuts. If you don't want Adobe to use your content for these purposes, you can opt out of content analysis at any time, which basically means that they opted you in without even knowing. And now you can opt out if you want, which is totally ridiculous because it should be the other way around. You should opt in for something instead of forcing people to opt in and then opt out whenever they want. Now, I just checked a few of these videos of other creators talking about this and wow, people are going mental. Like, so we pay for the service, they move to the cloud and now we have to agree to give them our data. This is insane. Adobe can fuck right off with this. As a photographer, this is absolutely unacceptable. Exploring alternatives to Photoshop Lightroom this very minute. You paid them for years and they are using your work to train their AI and later sell the product that will replace you. Just deleted my Behance account. I'm done with Adobe. Adobe. Let's call it what it is, IP theft. 
No company should license contents without any compensation. It is always a paid thing in the creative field. Adobe went too far. I cancelled my subscriptions today. The market needs to know that people should not be exploited like this to enhance technology that puts them out of a job or destroys their business. And here's where Affinity played such a great move and almost checkmating Adobe because they decided to throw a 50% off everything shop sale right right now. So if you've been using Photoshop, Lightroom, InDesign or Illustrator then hear me out because you really really want to hear this and you should hop on this chance. Affinity is award-winning photo editing, graphic design, and page layout software for Mac, Windows, and iPad. You've got Affinity Designer, which is the equivalent to Illustrator. Then we've got Affinity Photo, which is an amazing alternative for Photoshop. I wouldn't say the exact equivalent because Affinity is way less developed with AI, but it is a very, very capable software to edit your photos and to make your compositions. And then we've got Affinity Publisher, if you're more into creating magazines, posters, news letters brochures etc etc this is your choice now further down you can see that affinity has a v2 universal license which means that you will get the version 2 of Affinity Designer, Affinity Photo and Affinity Publisher on all operating systems, including iPad for one low bundle price. All apps, all platforms, and this is the most important one right here, no subscription. So you don't have to pay monthly, you actually pay them once and currently this payment is 50% off. So usually you would pay 180 euros, which is currently only 90 euros. Now, this this is an absolute steal and if you're not convinced yet you can actually do a free trial as well now currently the affinity suite has more than 3 million users worldwide and obviously this is going to grow very rapidly so you really want to dive in on this super deal of affinity now, regarding this no subscription, version 2 of the Affinity apps are available to buy with a one-time payment. This not only gets you the latest and greatest version of Affinity, but you will receive free updates until version 3 is released. So I had Affinity Photo 1, I had been using it for quite a few years, I was really happy with it and I was really happy to actually just pay for an upgrade to version 2 because it is just a one-time payment, so I was happy to give Affinity my money to support the company and to actually get a better um, software. Now I would be happy to pay again for version 3 but until then I don't have to pay anything because I already got my uh, universal license and I think you should do that right now too. So if you've lost your trust in Adobe as well, then definitely check out the Affinity Suite. It is a steal, honestly. Just try it out. Try out the free trial. And if you're convinced, of course, buy the full license. And if you want to learn more about Affinity Photo, then just follow me and subscribe to my channel because I have created tons and tons of Affinity Photo tutorials and I will help you transfer from Photoshop or other softwares into Affinity Photo. And you'll be amazed by how good this software software actually is. Alright, thank you so much for watching and I see you in a new video.